Full account. Copy that. Such a... <laughs> I'm such a mess. Hard as soon. I'm such a. <laughs> I'm saying I'm a mess. I'm honestly a mess. I gotta put a text box there. What the fuck? <laughs> we should not started this so early. Oh no, it's sick people. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Right, just discard. Just stop. <laughs> I think we can start with six people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Sam, or Little Miss Midnight, and today we're gonna do a Fire Emblem podcast. It's so last minute, but yay! Like and my friend, please introduce yourself. Why panic? Okay, uh, my name's uh, Tristy. You may know me as Se Tristy. I stream on Twitch. I'm quite new to streaming, and uh, I'm quite excited about this Twitch channel. <laughs> Okay, so while I'm typing the list, do you want to say the list while I pa while I write it, you know, fix the overlay? The list? Oh, yeah, yeah, what we're going to do, so, what we talk about. Yeah, the, the planning. So what we're going to uh, talk about basically today, we're just going to talk about first uh, the, CYL, uh, the CYL winners. Uh, we're going to go through each and every one of them. And then we'll talk a bit about uh, what happened in the Fed channel, go over each and every uh, single thing that they talk about and uh, give our opinion and uh, what you should do with uh, the things that they're going to give us. And uh, then we're just going to ask you, ask you guys some questions since this is an interactive stream. And then <laughs> we're just going to finish. This is so fucking last minute. Okay, so CYL winners. Um, you, you have to take over while I fix this. So who they won and how many votes and stuff. Superman two thousand. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm screaming. Hi, I'm just. Oh. Okay. But yeah, um, CYL winners. God, this is such a mess. Um, our winners are for the. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um. So, <laughs> our winners for CYL3 is for the male division. Um, Arm, first place, with over 60,000 votes. And in second place, we have Ellie Wood, with over 40,000 votes. And for the female division, we have Mik Mikaya Bet, uh, with, the, 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 with 50k votes. And we have Camilla in second place, with 40k votes. Did we get our predictions right? And who are you the most excited for uh, CYL outfits, Justy? I'm excited for Ellywood, of course. Hey. Mm. Ellywood is my waifu. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ellywood's my favorite from the Blazing Blade trio, and uh, well, he finally got a chance to to be a brave uh, to be a brave hero, and I'm so so excited about it. Uh, Elliewood is is one of my favorite lords of all time. I love him. <laughs> For me, I am so fucking happy. It's Arm. We did it, guys. We did it. We gave justice to Arm. I didn't expect him to win by that much. To be honest, I'm, I'm just happy. I was going to be happy if he just got second place, but no, he, he won. He actually won. Oh, I'm so happy. I want to cry. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of surprise from all, all winning. Yeah, no, I there was such a huge um campaign behind Arm. Um, like, I think people just just wanted an alt. Even people who didn't like him at least voted him once. But yeah, I'm happy if we, we've guaranteed him an alt. So if the game keeps going for another two or three years and he gets nothing, we can look back and, at CYL and say he got something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's something. At least he has one alt. Yeah, one alt. We, we guaranteed it. We did it, folks. We, we forced IS... IS's hand, we made sure they would give the boy an alt. I just hope it's not going to be as bad as Brave Celica, because Brave Celica made... I love Celica, but her CYL makes me cry all over the place. 
Don Garmer arm with uh, the bull haircut. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't, Dancer I, arm with I do the not, Don Garmer. I do not want to save up <laughs> 2,000 orbs for that monstrosity. Okay. Hey, a Don Garmer can be quite cool if you redesign it just a bit. I, oh, God. I, <laughs> uh, just. just uh, so <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be. Guided outfit to match Celica. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm happy he's got an old, but I hope the artist for um, Echoes will change my mind. I I'm I'm I'll take change. I I'm happy. <laughs> so, all right. So. Pretty much everyone is happy that Arm won, even if you've never played Echoes. I think everyone is just happy that he's won. That's all that matters. So, alright, um, second place, Ellie Wood. Um, besides that you're happy, what are your thoughts, like, bias aside? Okay, so, bias aside, what we can get is a Binding Blade Ellie Wood, since we already got, already got a Durandal Rory, so that would make sense. We can also get Rex Hostile Hollywood, but I would be more interested in an in infantry Hollywood just to change things up a bit. And that's bias aside, yeah. And uh, considering the fact that he won, I think bias aside, uh, I say that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not counting, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, uh, he, honestly, I think he won because um, he. Because Lin and Hector won last the last two times. Yeah, it feels right. Like I played that their game very when I was very young, but I remember those three characters the most, and it feels right that they've won. I feel sorry for Marth. I feel so sorry because next year we next year we got three houses to compete, and I'm sure we'll, that's you know. So I feel bad for mm -hmm. Marth. This was his year. This was his year, but I think. If Ellie Wood didn't play so high, Marth would would have won, because the yeah I think there was a strong vote behind Ellie Wood, and that's why he yeah, won. Yeah, I think the midterms changed a bit because, like, maybe a lot of people didn't think that Ellie Wood would be this high. Yeah, I think it caught off but caught all us by surprise. Yeah, so uh, it go <laughs> honestly, I didn't. F uh, I thought Hollywood would be second, like from the start, from midterms. But uh, Marv being second caught me, uh, caught me a bit off guard. Yeah, yeah. And then the final results: Marv was behind Hollywood by at least ten thousand votes. So, yeah, the 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 Hollywood army really pushed through, and I'm happy that Hector, Lynn, and Hollywood are like got they got the brave votes. That's, if there's one thing this fandom did right, it was definitely making sure Ellie Wood got got some love because he he's really he's got he's got his Valentine's, but that was a free, so um, I'm glad. Yeah. And first place for the female division, we have Mikaya. Your thoughts? I love Mikaya. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it, guys. We're, that's it. We're going home, everyone. We. I've never played Radiant Dawn, so I don't understand why she's that popular. But um, but I'm I'm happy for her. She's honestly her design is very pretty, and uh, I've seen what her high priestess outfit looks, and it's going to be gorgeous. I I that's a, that's a given. Yeah, I think uh, Mikaya might be in her light priestess outfit from Radiant Dawn. She can also have a, like a unit alt. I don't know. They they can they can make something real cool. They can make her, for example, a black knight alt. And <laughs> yeah, Mik Mikaya in the black knight armor with I alondite. This would be super cool. Just Holy imagine, shit. just imagine, just imagine black knight is coming up to you with the sword. You're terrified. Black knight takes off his helmet slowly and under reveals Mikaya. The gorgeous priestess, just out of the blue. Is it the drum brigade? <laughs> I was like, Micaiah, Micaiah is buffed. 
want her. I want one line of her to say, "Is it the Dawn Brigade?" And then oh, be happy. You know that's never <laughs> gonna happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least one line where she can say interesting maneuver. Oh. <laughs> and, <I'd be> happy. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're we'll going to our favorite one quotation marks. Camilla, second place. Uh... I don't like Camilla. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I like Mikaya. I don't like Camilla. No, um, I would. I think she only got this much love um, because because everyone just voted for her because of Reddit. Like, people saw Reddit and go, I want to troll, and they voted for her. I really think what you said before in the last podcast about um, because she's so ranked up so high, she got more vo- votes because of the drama. Yeah. Yeah. It- uh, any type of... Uh... Like traction, any type of uh, publicity is good publicity. So when everyone's talking about Kamala, she's going to get more votes, even if uh, people are trash talking her. There's going to be more votes for her. Yeah, it felt like That's that. It wasn't. It wasn't like with Erica, where after she got her legendary version or the whatever, the one with the horse, her votes just dropped like like you know, non-existent, and um. Mm-hmm. With yeah, Camilla, there's also was... the fact that, yeah, there's also the fact that uh, Erica, uh, Erica fans are not as dedicated as Camilla fans. Yeah, there's one thing we gotta do respect is Camilla fans are really loyal. They are so loyal to Camilla, despite the bashing, despite the noise. They just they will back up Camilla to no end. <laughs> Eat that meat. Oh. Yeah, I think they they do eat that meat to Camilla. I just I just I just really hope um Camilla's outfit will be similar to Garen's. Just I just want her. Oh, they can give her. Yeah, they can give her Garen's outfit and with the bulwark. Yes, mm. like I'm not a big fan of Camilla, but if we got that Camilla, I wouldn't be mad. I just want a really badass version of Camilla. No fan service. She's had enough of those. Just just give her an outfit where she's ready to kill. Uh, Lucas, can I chat? Can I? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, just feel... chat, chat away, chat away. Um, so that's for the CYL. Um, my honest, well, the in summary, um, everyone is happy with the results besides Camilla. I I'm not mad anymore. I'm just I'm just tired. Like I, I'm tired of Camilla. Just we all knew this was gonna happen. Now that she won, next year we're we'll looking forward to three houses and more underdogs that could possibly win, like Anna, Robin, or Marth. Yeah, but, next time I look forward to Brave Edelgold. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm not even mad. I I love her design. I'll probably I'll probably vote for her or maybe Anna. I think I'll vote for Anna. Hey, um, now that we um we got you voted for Mikaya and Elliwood, correct? Uh, yeah, I voted for them, yeah. Now that they're in the game, who you, who would you most likely vote for next year? We're ignoring three houses right now, but yeah. Ninian. Ninian? Oh, that's a nice one. I'll definitely go for Anna. Awakening Anna, since she plays surprisingly high. I was surprised with that one. Yeah, uh, I'll give Ninian like, f- at least five of my votes. Yeah, um, just a quick message to the chat. We'll, uh, we'll answer questions after the CYL section, after the Faye channel section, and then we've got questions right at the end. So um, since there's only about eight of us, do you want to answer a quick question, Tristy? Uh, there's only one there, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, so what did you guys got in the Guarantee Special Heroes banner? Oof, uh, we'll talk about it uh, in the personal section then. <laughs> I got I my I got crippling depression. That's what I got. <laughs> I got the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Faye channel, our last minute Faye channel, because I don't know, it was so fucking random. So I was I was out of town in the middle of nowhere with family, and I come home, and Trissy messages me, there's a Faye channel! I'm like, what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) I 
I knew they were going to do uh, like at least an announcement. So at 4 a.m. Uh, where I am, I I just open up uh, I I just open up the app uh, for for them heroes, and then I see the fetch you know, has just been uploaded. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but, but internet, we don't want to stream anymore. Here's a video. Shut up. <laughs> Exactly. It's uh, like they forgot to to make an announcement. They they probably forgot the stream. They probably forgot the anniversary. Like, oh fuck, the anniversary is today. Uh, let's upload it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do a quick rundown on what we can get for second anniversary. Um, login bonus, twenty two orbs, double exp and sp, ether raids update, daily reward maps, eleven in total, two difficulties. 22 maps, a lot of orbs. Second anniversary yeah, daily summons. Special heroes, which is free summon a seasonal. And um, the most unusual one is the second anniversary mini game Find and Vote. <sighs> so much stuff. Where do you want to start? Yeah, let's start with. Uh... There's nothing to talk about, talk about uh, for orbs. <laughs> like <laughs> we're just getting daily maps. So get that... your get your free gambling um gambling orbs. Take them, store them, or spend them however you please. That's all we can say. Yeah. That's just a login bonus in daily maps. In total, that makes uh, forty four orbs, which is quite nice. Enough for two rounds of summons. Uh... Yeah, that's two circles. All right, let's um, the special heroes. That's the um, free seasonal summon, right? Uh, which one? The special hero. Special yeah, hero summon the... event. Yeah, okay. that's the seasonals. <laughs> so what I think is, um, it's good. It's great. It's a, a free seasonal. You can never go wrong. Um, if you want to join the game and you want to re-roll, you got an easy five star there. So that's good. Um, and there's nothing yeah. wrong. Yeah. Um, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. Honestly, it's a, it's a who I'm not against a free five star, especially a seasonal. So, um, should we? What are your thoughts about it? Well, I got uh, Summer Leo, so. And I got Easter Xander. I got the gay man with a carrot. I was hoping for Summer Oof, Foreign. Okay. So, uh, at least I didn't have them yet, but man, it could have been anyone else. <laughs> oh, it, it's it, I, I, my depression is crawling back. Xander gave yeah. back my depression. Guys, uh, even though uh, it's a free fire star, I think it's quite scummy that they didn't give us a choice. Like yes. at least the yes. four colors choice. I was uh... at least the choice in color because I got five reds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an oof! Oh, rip! Oh. I wanted to summon on blue, and then I get five reds. That is that hurts. Uh, <laughs> um, if we um, I'm guessing most of us here have already used our free summon. But what color should you, um, if we could suggest a color? What color should we? Most likely aim for. I need to open the list of the free summons. Uh, okay. Uh, red is a big gamble because you have the highest chance to get um, to get bunked on, uh, lol, <laughs> and uh, the highest chance to get uh, extremely good father like uh, Winter Tarja. Uh. Uh. However, I would summon on red if you just want father. I would summon on red. But uh, basically, just some of the one where you have the highest possibility of uh, having something you'd like. Uh, so for me, it would be blue, uh, and uh, red for me was horrible. <laughs> but I only had red. <laughs> well, I think for me, I went with uh, which color seasonal do I have the least of, so I would avoid dupes and. I I was low key hoping to get Summer Corrin so I could make her plus seven, but I got her brother instead, which is okay because I don't have Summer Xander. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm ever gonna use him. 
Which is sad because I think, yeah, he's my first Xander besides the GHB one. Uh, right, so either way, it's a good deal. You can't go wrong, even if you get five reds, like my poor unfortunate friend here. Uh, five, a free five star is a free five star. You can kill it off or keep it or never use them. Let them collect dust in your barracks. Whatever, do what you want. <laughs> yeah, if you get a bad unit, just meme him. I'm going to meme my son Leo. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> just put a couple ploys on him. He'll be fine. Yeah. All right, next on the list we have Find and Vote. Uh, this took me a while to understand. Would you want to give a rundown on it? Because I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Okay, so basically, this is Where's Waldo? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Where's the Anna? Of, uh, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so you just uh, you select a color, uh, and by color they mean type. You select a color type and then uh, from the color type you just find the hero you you want to uh, you you want to put on a banner so on uh, for for example if you select green uh, or you want to put a legendary hector in there so you're just going to find legendary hector and put and vote for him after that uh, you can um, there's going to be a mini game where you have to find the asker trio to get another vote for the day. Okay. So that will last for yeah, that will last for an entire week. So that's fourteen votes in total. Okay, so that's like the a hero rises too, but with a where's Wally twist. <laughs> it's better than a hero rises too, because you get a free pick uh, out of four heroes, not just one. So you can actually choose. If you don't have legendary Azura, for example, choose her. If you already have her, choose a another color, like choose green, because it would probably be probably be legendary Hector, and he has decent counter. Uh, if uh, you can al also choose red, but I don't think there's a popular red one. Is there a popular red unit? Well, we can also vote for seasonal. So. Um, maybe Winter Sarger might have a good um, time, or uh, Halloween Mer. Uh, lots, I think, the seasonals. Um, I'm just thinking right now. I think, I don't know who to vote for. I might go for Summer Corrin because I'm selfish and I want to plus 10 her, but um, who would you, What I guess, what colour, what type would you vote for? There's, a, there's okay. it's so, much, so much options. Okay, uh, for... Uh, if I had to put one vote on each color, uh, I would put my blue vote would be legendary Azura for everyone. Even though I have her, I, I would vote for her for because I'm considerate. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, on red, I would vote for legendary Marth because he's quite hard to pull and he's a good meta check. He's oh, also yeah. uh, infantry flash fodder, which is quite good. Mm -hmm. Uh, and getting legendary heroes is just a nightmare. So I would vote for legendary Marth. On green, I would vote for legendary Hector because this encounter, eventual fighter, and being uh, yeah, being really good A to rate unit because of Ostia's pulse. And did you say one for gray yet? And for colorless, uh, some people would vote for Brave Veronica. Yeah, I have a big but feeling. I wouldn't since. She is already a free unit. Yeah, um, but who would you pick? So, that's hard. I wouldn't pick Duma because Duma is bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, come on, pick a mm. pick a colors hero. I know there isn't many good ones, but there should be at least one. Halloween Mia. Yeah. <laughs> Hello with me is a good choice, yeah. You wanna you wanna come back to the grey one? Yeah. No, okay, I think Halloween Mia, Winter Erica. Mm, yeah, Winter Erica, Halloween Mia is maybe the best choices there. Loki, maybe? Ooh, Loki, Loki is ridiculous. Alright, so for me, for red. Um, I'm gonna go for the things I personally want because probably the legendary heroes like Marth, 
I don't think I could be up there since we can get them already for free unless the fan base is a bit special. Um, I can see. <laughs> uh, uh, we can, I can definitely see Halloween Mur there. Um, Summer Tana. I haven't really reviewed what we could possibly get, but I think um, for Blue Legendary Azura, she's just too good to pass. Um. Uh, who else? Maybe Legendary Lucina, but I think Legendary Zora will take that spot. Green, Legendary Hector, any sort of Hector. Um, and maybe maybe Christmas Faye. And for Colorless, um, I hope it's not Brave Veronica because we half of us probably already have her. Um, Christmas Erica, ha Halloween Mia, maybe, maybe female... Um, Legendary Grima, the female version. I can see her having a good chance, but since we've already had her like nine million times in the past, I don't think she want to show up. Um, either way, uh, in general, I think either a seasonal or a legendary hero will have the best shot to um, win this exactly. little mini game. And in my opinion, you should vote for legendary heroes or seasonals because they're hard to get. Or just vote for heroes you think will benefit yourself, maybe as a cheap to play or a free to play player. So Azura will help you so much. Uh, Lucina can help you in Ether raids. Hector, you can't go wrong. Um, so a, a, a armored healer, flying healer, a cavalry healer, can't go wrong with that either. Um, so yeah, I'm interested who we will get because I don't think we'll get midway results, right? Uh, no, we we won't. The yeah. thing is, everyone votes for each color they want on the the banner that you build. Like it, that's a cool concept, though. Like you build your own banner. The community makes its own banner. I think that's the that is a really cool concept. Make your own banner. Um, it's it's cool. It's exciting. So and they'll make people vote. Yeah. yeah no result. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, what if they're all Camillas? Oh no. Oh no. Hot Springs Camilla, Adrif Camilla. Oh god, please don't fruit for Camilla, please, I'm desperate. Please, no more Camilla. <laughs> Alright, moving off. moving off from that depressing note. Why did I even bring it up? Um, We have Dragon Flowers. Um, which, besides looking very pretty, I think they're a cool concept. Um, do you want to go first, Tristy? Hi, Isla. Uh? Huh? I'm just uh, looking at chat, saying hi. Oh, right, <laughs> of course. <laughs> hi, chat! <laughs> Alright, Dragonflowers. Um, uh, I'll go first. Uh, la, 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 la. Um, okay, so they remind me of the Holy Grails from Fate Grand Order, where um, you can, in that game, you could max increase the level by two and increase stats. Obviously, there's no level, just increase stats. Um, I think it's a, uh, and besides, it's like another currency for us to collect. Um, adds a bit of end game content to do, is to collect as many dragonflowers as you want, and I, 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 put, I like them. And the best part is the stats don't affect arena, so you won't see boosted stats from dragonflowers in arena. Okay, in my opinion, the best part about this is that infantry heroes get it twice. Much needed, much needed. Yeah, in infantry is just... They don't have anything going for them. They don't have the, the, movement, uh, the movement advantage. They... They don't have um, the threat advantage. They they don't have the stats like uh, armors. They don't have exclusive skills. They have some of them, but not a lot. Most of them are just infantry. What the the ones that lowers their cooldown. But yeah, besides that, they don't have much going for them. Exactly. I think like a drift corn. With this, it is going to be a monster. Oh <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm. I personally will. I'm. I'm looking forward to collecting them. 
Um, I um, think we can yeah. only get them in ether raids and with with lots of other moves. Heroic, heroic ordeals, which oh. is another game mode which I'm kind of looking forward to. It's quite interesting. Yeah, each hero having its own map is quite good. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 not it's not hard. Like the featured unit only has to kill two units for you to pass. Um, doesn't require too many brain cells. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I am a bit tired that they keep adding more currencies instead of like I don't know using the ones we already have. Like with the arena medals, I wish they would find something for us to spend our arena medals on. Um, I just, you know, I, that, that's my own personal gripe is wish they would just look back on all the currencies we have to already collect and let's work around them. Yeah, but it's better for your uh, gacha life. Like, yeah. A gacha lifespan to introduce new currencies on top of new ones. Yes. And this, this is this dragon flowers. They're they're not behind a paywall, and they they're good. I, I there's nothing wrong with them. They don't affect arena. Um, they'll help you with the end, like the harder maps. They'll make them a little bit easier. And who doesn't like seeing our favorite husband or, or waifu get more stronger? I, I, I like that concept. I'm gonna do that with Alm. Okay, actually, actually. Oh, last uh, thought. <laughs> For uh, uh, for uh, farming dragon flowers for heroic ordeals, you're going to have uh, uh, your you have to have a lot of heroes if you want to farm them. Like the more heroes you have, the more dragon flowers you have since they're hero dependent. So yeah, if you do have heaps of heroes trained up, then you get heaps at one go. Yeah, that that that's how it goes with the currencies when they first introduce them. Especially if they're behind, locked behind a unit, so they won't be that hard to get then. They won't be that hard to get. The thing is, uh, to complete a heroic or ordeal, you need to uh, you need for the specific unit to kill two uh, two enemies. So you can't just bring a level one unit and, uh, yeah, and oh, just cool. clear the content. Yeah, you gotta have actually put some effort behind it, which is good. That's good. Yeah, and the good thing about it is that now you're going to have to keep those trash units like uh, Toilet Soli and um, like level her up to level 40 and uh, and use her a bit. So it's good because, um, you know, I don't know if you play other gacha games, but other gacha games, if you like max bond them, you get the um, in-game currency. And so far with Heroes, you, that's only behind like feathers you can only get feathers but now we can get dragon flowers so i'm looking forward to that like you know i have a reason to train all the heroes that i haven't trained just to get just to steal their dragon flower yeah you get like same quartz no when you do it in a FGO. yes yeah fgo yes yeah, so you do get same quartz uh sometimes one and then you have an interlude which is another one so yeah i'm, I'm glad they're adding their own version of I guess that interlude is be is uh, behind a dragon flower. <laughs> yeah. So either, so either way, so, it's it's yeah. a good good currency. I, I'm happy with it. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it too. Uh, it makes more uh, more vertical progression, which is always a good thing for the game. Yeah, and, and there's something for me to do at least now. I, I can I can get these dragon flowers, but the thing is, how long will that last? <laughs> yeah, at least I I have I I have something to stream now. <laughs> yeah, it was like a twenty four hour dragon flower grind. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so yeah, um, right now we can move on to the Ether raids update. Let's I'll just let's see where they're gonna cut Ether cost in half. The max cap is at fifty. First battle will now require Ether. And dragon flowers can be now be earned from ether raids now. Besides heroic ordeals, thoughts? Yeah, you missed one thing though, uh, of and the most I did. important in my opinion. Well, it's like one thirty in the morning. The but most. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the thing you missed is that for tiers twenty one and above, when you finish uh, in uh, like for example, you finish in tier twenty three. And uh, there's your friend that finishes in tier 24. 
uh, you both get resetted at tier 21. Oh, of course. So how did I forget that? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, well, I am not competitive in ether raids. I might now be because there's dragon flowers to collect. But are you are you competitive in ether raids, Tristy? No. <laughs> wow, your, your insight's gonna your insight's really gonna help, ain't it? <laughs> Let's talk How about tier. It's full of cancer. <laughs> Let's talk about tier twenty one when we're not in it. Yay! Okay. No. The thing is, the problem is now that if you want to to be always competitive in each raid, you're going to have to grind that shit. And we'll get more and more stamina as time goes on because you'll be able to improve your eater fountains and uh, eater uh, eater pots too. So you'll be able to pay more and more, get to tier twenty seven, and then you'll be resetted at tier twenty one. You can't just slack off uh, and stay at your tier anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. If you want to be competitive, it, I think. So, oh, go go go! Finish finish. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now that's a. That's both a good thing and a bad thing, because FEH was known to be a game where you can slack off and still get uh, get uh, some uh, some currencies. But now you're going to have to play every day for a lot of time uh, just to, uh, to get the biggest currencies. Yeah, I think what's so good about this, in my eyes, because I'm not in tier, 20, tier 21, is that it doesn't stagnate the tiers, it doesn't make you get comfortable, it it makes you look forward to something. I am I probably you'll probably get tired of always trying to get up to tier twenty three when you know by tomorrow you're gonna go back to tier twenty one. But tier twenty one is still an accomplishment in my eyes. Like honestly, it's, um, yeah, I'm I'm glad that they you have something to work for because I think there's one problem with heroes is that um, it gets too comfortable in its own shoes and it stagnates. Like, after you play for a year, you've got a handful of heroes, you've done chain challenges and everything else. What's, what is there to look forward to, you know? <laughs> yeah. So that was a good thing and a bad thing about Heroes, because it was one of the only gachas that really felt like a, a mobile game. Like, you know, a light fire emblem. Not like a big gacha where you have to spend your entire life on it, uh, grinding like crazy. I feel like when it comes to Heroes, uh, it's like... I've played so many other gacha games. It feels like a outdated gacha. <laughs> like, I mean, we don't have a level up system. We don't have friend messages. We can't edit our profiles where other games can. I think it's just a Nintendo thing. But it's it's like still still good. Like you know, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> it's Fire Emblem. <laughs> it's Fire Emblem, and Fire Emblem. We can play characters from older games that haven't seen the light of day for like ten years. So. <laughs> So it's good. Yeah, I'm happy. I know we went off topic a little bit, but um, back on Ether raids. Um, on it's it. Someone, as someone who doesn't play competitively, I'm I'm honestly not affected, so I can't really jump for joy or cry. Um, so I'm I'm just looking in a, a perspective of someone who does go to tier twenty one. You can either see this as a good thing or a bad thing. If it depends on you, if you oh, want to challenge yourself all the time or if you're gonna get tired of trying to get the higher tiers when you know you're gonna be back at tier twenty one in a few days. Or if you even have time to play. Yeah, tier twenty one, I can't imagine how competitive it is because imagine how long it takes just to clear one map to make sure you get the fountains kill everyone within seven turns yeah plus it's filled with reinhardt's limbs Ugh. Ugh. i'm glad it, i'm glad we can use our horse unit somewhere but ugh, had to be ugh. i think we're gonna always hate horse units no matter what mode they make yeah all right now we're done with the ether raids should we talk about the merge update? We can talk about it a bit. There's some good and some bad uh, thing about it, oh. as always. Oh, as always. All right. Tell me your both sides of the coin. Okay. Uh, the bad side of the coin is really small, so I'm going to start with that. 
uh, some heroes will uh, will have some problems because they work on minus HP banes. Oh, true. Like the desperation, and, and, the uh, poisons. Cliff, Cliff will get hurt because minus attack may be good for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real. That is. That is. But it's like a very niche or small handful of units that won't benefit as much. But yeah, Cliff is a good example of why this might hurt him a little bit. My SHP Solica will be hurt a lot though. Oh yeah, because she has her brazens. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's not that, it's not that bad of a thing. And what's the good side? A good side. Uh, now you don't have to worry about uh, getting a plus speed uh, minus attack unit. Yeah, they have no more no more banes. Um, for me, I'm happy. Like, ooh, like I can finally use all my minus attack units, my minus speed, and don't have to worry about it too much. Like, um, I have like a plus speed minus attack Celica, so uh, now that's gonna be gone. I can finally use her. I have a plus one arm that's mi plus res minus attack, so I can finally use him for something. He can stop collecting dust in my barracks. Um, even before the Fade Channel, we knew the merge update was going to come, and I think it was well received. I never saw anyone complain about it, unless you just like have a plus 10 cliff somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cliff now! Plus, plus 10 minus attack cliff was quite good. But now he's going to, to struggle a bit to get that attack. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's probably gonna get wants to be attacked by ploys and every link skills, everything under the sun. Debuff me. <laughs> he's probably going to run like a fortress res uh, seal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably want. He just wants to. He doesn't want to hurt anyone. Get that low attack. Um. Yeah. We really can't talk much about the merge update because it's just straightforward. Oh, oh, by the way, um, the um, I don't know if it's mentioned in the Fade channel, but um, uh, so we can see IVs now. The boons and the banes will be visible in game. Did they mention that in the Fade channel? Oh no, they didn't mention it. It was um, I guess we we were hanging around Reddit for too long, but um, some some redditor, I think, the, the code now supports. Visible boons and banes. I don't know when that's going to be implemented, but it's something we can definitely look forward to. So um, I'm quite happy for it. Um, we can. Yeah. So now you don't have to <laughs> to look at uh, to look at uh, game press. Goodbye and good riddance, game press. Goodbye, distant counter and vantage builds. I don't need you, scrubbed game press. <laughs> Suggesting everyone has now this encounter. Directly... <laughs> now you can directly be disappointed by units <laughs> in their own game. <laughs> game press who? <laughs> oh my god, uh... that, that's the best. I think the best part is goodbye, game press. <laughs> Hello, FEH. <laughs> I, I do appreciate uh, what they did for the FEH community, though, game press. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think people are still going to use it for builds and ideas. I'm just surprised how long it took for heroes to acknowledge the boons and the banes existing game. Um, I thought it was something they'll Ga never address. Game press for builds. <laughs> what some, there are some. There are people like that. that we call them the casuals. Oh, oh, okay, if you want me... some, if you're casual and you want some builds. Just look at Phoenix Master 1. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't pick on the guy. <laughs> no, but he, he, his builds are are working and they're better than Game Press. Yeah, because it, not everyone has this encounter advantage. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna put this encounter on my Reinhardt. The derp, 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 derp. Yeah, good luck yeah, with that, buddy. Least, um, at least on Phoenix Master 1, you won't see uh, Fire Sweep Soleil with Desperation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good riddance. Goodbye, game press. Go delete your server. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. What's next? Uh, the cute artwork. They're cute. They're adorable, and I love them. I. I. I'm surprised they got so many artists to help them celebrate the second anniversary. 
I love the one with Mer, like uh, the one uh, Nino's artist, the the one uh, that he did. It's so adorable. <laughs> I like I like the one with um casual wear, um Fiorm and uh, Levitain. I like. Oh, please make that a seasonal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that would uh, be really good. <laughs> I, would, I, I would, I would try and get that Fiorm casual wear. I also like yeah. the the Camilla one with the uh, with Elise and just the Norse siblings together. That was cute. <laughs> oh, this one wasn't shown in the Fair Channel. Uh, not the English version. Apparently, in the Japanese version, that version was shown, but in English, apparently, Camilla's boobs are just too threatening. No. I think it's because of Elise, because the, the dude uh, just emphasized Elise's butt, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, besides that, it's it's still a good fan art. I think it's the artist that drew a drift Camilla, or Summer Camilla. It's still a, it's still a good piece of artwork. I also like the, um, <laughs> the dragons, Mer and, um, was it Faye? Just holding the banner. I think it was the first one shown. That, I love that a lot. It was so cute. All the artwork's very good. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, last one. Being able to change the castle screen. Finally. Uh, finally. <laughs> I am so tired of looking. That's just, Thank God. It's a small change, but it's a, such an appreciated one. Now I want to be able to change the music. <laughs> I can't even say the theme song on that side. Yeah, it's always the same music. <laughs> okay, and it gets in your head. <laughs> you click battle. <laughs> yeah, just being able to put whatever part of the music you want in the castle. Oh my god, I'm gonna play Twilight of the Gods if I could. <laughs> I know you're going to get sick of it. I'm going to to play something like that's quite chill, but also oh. like makes you pumped a bit, like okay. advanced. Maybe I can play Lost in Lost in Thoughts. <laughs> Lost. Lost in Thoughts. Lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why Camilla won. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh, but remind me of fucking Camilla, right? I'm tired. <laughs> If she shows up for the <laughs> Valentine banner, I'm fucking done. Uh, all right, we finished with Faye. Um, what if you could ask for the Faye channel? Since we were not expecting it, well, me anyway. What would have you? What would you like to see? Like, if you, what would you like to see in the Faye channel? If you know. Okay. Two two things. First, skill refinery. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> and second, the uh, massive demotions. Yeah, you. Yeah, mm, I, I, that is that is spot on. What I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want? Um, I guess obscure refinery. I think they would want to introduce a few more level four skills. They would like to maybe make another quick, quick dollar or two from baiting us to try and get them. I can see skill refinery happening this year. Um, I don't know when. I hope it's soon. Maybe, maybe in the middle of the year or sooner. And master motions. Um, we we need it. I we really really need it. Yeah. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Uh, it's just insane. Like they release Fortress Death uh, Res, Death Blow for uh, skills that are just better, better than uh, than some others. Like they did that before with weapons. I don't know if you remember, but before we had killer weapons, now we have slaying. And yeah. then they release weapon refinery. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, blah, blah. I, I agree. I simply agree. Um. We will we will get skill refinery. It's just a matter of how long and how much they want to try and sell us the updated skills. It's gonna happen this year. I can see that for sure. Yeah. Plus ra rally, uh, double rally plus uh, skills. 
Yeah, and if if these level four skills are locked up behind majority of seasonals, like New Year's Herid is locked has Hone Attack four, then it might take us a little bit longer to get skill refinery. Which kinda sucks because I hope I want to start playing around with these with these premium skills that I do not have access to. Um, but if we're gonna get another Fey channel, maybe streamed or just uploaded because Nintendo is too lazy. Um, I think they'll announce the motions and skill refinery hand in hand, so people know what skills they can refine and um, just look forward to the motions. You know, they'll go hand in hand. I think. Do you want anything? Anything else to add, Tristy? Uh, concerning Fair Channel, uh, I don't have anything to say. I felt. Do you think it was too short? The Fair Channel. Yeah, Fair yeah. Channel was. No, Fair Channel was a good length, uh, and uh, for once, uh, Fair didn't drag on for too long. <laughs> <laughs> she, she didn't do things like flap 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 flap. <laughs> no, I saw that's when we got Ether raids announced. It was she was like. Three minutes of her. Xander! <laughs> One potato, two, two potato, potato, three potato, Xander! <laughs> Xander! <laughs> I love that at the end of the, um, right. end of the channel, she was snoozing and then she said Xander's name. I'm going, oh, that's adorable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to know who the voice actress is for Fate. Oh my god. I was, she's so adorable. I love her. Uh, last fair channel, she had pretty golden lines too. She had a <laughs> yay, it's Faye, and a definitely I. Yeah, when she's like, <laughs> she did like, no, I lost. Why am I not strong <laughs> enough? I got carried away. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Faye as a unit. Oh, oh, maybe you can find her in, in the thing like find in boats. Uh, they hinted at being able to find Faye. It, maybe if she gets in our boats, we can get her as a unit. Colorless mark. beast unit. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. So, yeah, so we're up to the question parts. Uh, this is our first podcast with questions. If the nine of you are interested in a question or two, we can, uh, we can spare a minute or two to answer a question or two. If not, we're just going to end the podcast and, um, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone have a question they would like to ask us? Or else we'll just uh, end it here. Are you going to stream uh, after that? Like, are, you, are you going to stream Faye after that? I'm, I'm kind of getting a headache, so I might, I should, I think I'll lay down. Okay. <laughs> Time for you guys to shine. Yes, <laughs> Lucas, ask away. Any questions about CYL, Fey Channel, things you want to see in the game in the future, or Fire Emblem in general, just... <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, so, yeah. Um, were, were you were expecting the Fey Channel, weren't you, Tristy? What? You were, you were expecting to get this Fey Channel today, weren't you? I was expecting to to get uh, to get it tomorrow, but today to get the announcement. Like today the announcement, and tomorrow the uh, the fair channel. Yeah, do you still think? You know, I feel like this was such a last minute thing. Like, it's weird. Why didn't they announce in the news that we were gonna get one? Something's up. Something's fishy. Maybe uh, they just forgot. Yeah, <laughs> they forgot their own <laughs> anniversary. Wow, they're about they're in a. We're in a toxic relationship with Faye. They forgot their own, their own anniversary. Okay, we got some questions. Uh, Your opinion, dead game, <laughs> by next February, or five more years? Oh, uh, well, it's okay. Never, it's never gonna uh, die. Dead game. Uh, <laughs> okay, dead game by uh, next uh, 20, uh, 2029. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Uh, they probably will try and maybe, maybe in the next five years they would either try and keep running this game, or they will kill it off and make a better version. They'll they'll end in stuff like uh, how the um, 
Love Life game is doing right now, they have another version of their game coming out. I can see them happening because Fire Emblem just makes too much money these days. It's uh, <laughs> there's no way is Nintendo going to say goodbye to ten billion a year. <laughs> no. Yeah, guys, do you know that Fire Emblem is the highest grossing, uh, Nintendo uh, Nintendo IP, uh, next to the Big Three? Yeah, so <laughs> it's not. It's if it's gonna die, it's gonna die for the greater good, and <laughs> we'll get a better version of the game. Maybe it'll be more like Langrisser or something. <laughs> yeah, Langrisser is, is an actual game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, next one. Where are you, where are your free orbs? Um, for me, um, no, not anytime soon. Uh. I'm broke too, I Park. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you guys think about the Binding Blade banner? Oh yeah, that's March, okay. correct? Um, okay. Uh, yes, that's March. Okay, on that banner, I want Percival. I want, uh, I want Percival. I want mm, Milady. And uh, I think that's the one. I, uh, that's. Those are the two ones I want the most. And maybe Idun. Okay, so I didn't play Binding Blade, or, well, I don't remember much of it, but I will suspect it will be more beast units. Or another hybrid. Uh, nah. <laughs> no, 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 impossible. <laughs> oh, well. Um, Not on Binding Blade. <laughs> you can tell I didn't play the game, but that's just an educated guess. Uh, but, yeah, um... I'm glad we're getting more permanent units. I'm glad it's not seasonal. We need more permanent new units. Yeah, but Binding Blade doesn't have beasts. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what they get in their banner, they deserve. <laughs> it's GBA. Uh, I'm still uh, waiting for... <laughs> so <laughs> beasts started with... Uh... With GameCube. <laughs> oh god, I need to sleep. Um, but I, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm still waiting for another Shadows of Valentia banner. That's gonna probably take about two years of my life. <laughs> so um, let's see. Uh, any units we want really to be demoted? Um, I want five stars that are also available as four stars, like Ares, to get out of my life and be demoted to four star. It, I hate that feeling. Um, Soleil, to get more Soleils. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just demo Who else do I want demoted? Some of the um, initial five stars, like Lin, oh god, um, they're not good anymore. Just the very uh, early, early... I minion to get demoted. Yeah, even to a four star, that'll be fine. Um, just the early five stars in the game definitely should be demoted because um, one, they're not on banners anymore. They are horrible pity breakers, um, and it will give more access for free to play players to make more creative builds and have give them more options to um, defeat a certain map. Um, <laughs> Mist, Mist, uh, she, she don't, oh my god, don't remind me. I got pity broken by Mist. Those were that was a bad day. Oh, the salt, my salt is coming back. Um, I want to have one mist because I like her, but <laughs> please take mine. <laughs> please take her. She's only spurred defense food at this point. And Morgan can have that at four stars. Okay, what unit? Uh, oops, sorry, I, I missed one. Do you think Path of Radiance will get a banner soon? Ah, uh, I hope so. For the sake of those fans, but if we know anything from Faye, we'll probably get a seasonal before another permanent banner. Let's just yeah, let's... just wait a bit. <laughs> like the fact that we're getting, uh, we got, was it, the b -b 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 the binding blade next month is a miracle in its own right because I feel like we just don't get enough permanent units. I feel like our seasonals these days are the permanents. No one cares about seasonals anymore. We just want permanent units. Exactly. The like they call them special heroes, the the seasonals, but it's 
It's the opposite. Like, it... the special heroes are not the best units. <laughs> They're not special anymore. Um, let's see. Um, what what unit will you pretend to give your dragon flowers first? Um, I would like to collect a few of them first, but uh, it's so hard. I don't know. Maybe my um, if I'm gonna be practical, I will probably give them to my flyer emblem team and my dragon armors because they help me clear a lot of the content in the game. And if we're going like just for favoritism, I will probably do arm and Celica. Use my dragon flowers on them because I, I enjoy them. They're not my favorite ship, but I do love them as a characters. What about you, Tristy? Tristy. Should we just should we just kill the lead searcher from the whole game? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's alright. You won't run run into him anymore in Odo battles, so that's one relief. Yeah, he's just a big mistake. Oh my god, he's such a big mistake. So, oh man, and plus we're gonna get hell. Hell is gonna be another mistake as well. Oh god. Hell, hell's already not that big of a threat compared to Surtur. Like, <laughs> like yeah, Surtur, I guess. You, just, you can't initiate on him. Uh, you need reposition uh, if you can't one shot him. You can't bait him because he he, he then kills you in one hit with uh, Sin Mara. <laughs> All right, so if we're not gonna any more questions, we'll end the podcast here. Um, thank you everyone to come to the podcast. I'm sorry, it's very last minute. I was not expecting this at all, but <laughs> at least we got this fake channel out of the way. And uh, yeah, um, my pers uh, my thoughts overall is, yay, <laughs> fake channel is still alive. Kind of sucks. It was not streamed, but um, everything in the Fae channel was good. Really, n not much negatives. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the free orbs because I'm gonna do my best and save up for CYL arm. Um, Tristy, what about you? Uh, yeah, I'm most excited about CYL. I'm most excited about Brave Elliewood. That's it. <laughs> Are you gonna save up for Elliewood or Mikaya? Oh, Elliewood. Hollywood, all right. Maybe we could stream that together. Our pools. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. Uh, yeah. I just, I just have to keep my orbs because I know I'm really bad at saving. You're really bad. <laughs> um, if maybe just keep your orbs um hoarded in the your know, like gift box and don't open them up. Um, I, I I'm yeah. up to I'm up to about four hundred. But anyway, thank you everyone for coming to the stream. This is our first podcast over Twitch, so it was not the smoothest and not the perfect, but hey, we'll, we'll get there. We'll practice. Um, my name is <laughs> <laughs> my name is Miss M or Little Miss Midnight on the YouTube side because hey, guess what, guys? I've been recording this podcast. <laughs> so, <laughs> say something bad to me. I got evidence. Arigato gozaimasu, Wanda. Um. So you can find me on Twitter, um, YouTube, and I have a Discord with Tristy now. Um, I'll make a code for it later on. But um, yeah, I'm, thank you so much for coming. And Tristy? Uh, yeah, let me make a, an invite. <laughs> <laughs> We're saying goodbye now, so you want to say goodbye first. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, hello everyone. Oh, no, not hello. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this for an hour and you decide to say hello now? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so I'm Tristy. I'm a new uh, FEH streamer. Uh, I may stream uh, uh, tonight, like, uh, in, in around eight hours or something. And uh, we'll do some fun stuff. Uh, I'm usually uh, not funny guy, but uh, hey, it's something to have me. <laughs> uh, go join uh, our Discord. I just put it in the chat. Uh, we're still setting it up, but uh, I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, podcast. We might do uh, some uh, some more 
later down the road and maybe we can get to third yeah, maybe to make things because we more did a fun. podcast about three days ago and i was thinking we'll get one next week Faye decides to go hey yeah. there, summoners here's a Faye channel and i'm like fuck and that's why we're really really unprepared but our next one i would have a better overlay and um have more things to talk about <laughs> But thank you so much for coming. Um, ten viewers. Um, it's 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 we. Uh, it's a good number to start off with. So thank you so much. And um, I guess you'll see Tristy later on in eight hours or so. So thank you all so much for coming. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Uh.